Hi guys, welcome to the Blogettes YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about why you should have a Pinterest business page. Even if you're a blogger or a business, you shouldn't have a personal page. You should have a business profile on Pinterest and not just why you should have it, but also some things that you can do with a business profile and some things that you need to make sure you do for your business account to work as it should and so you can take the most out of it. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is here you can see we're in the blog ads profile. We're already a business account, but in case you've opened your account as a personal one, you can just Google Pinterest for business and you're gonna end up on this page. If you haven't joined because you are too late to Pinterest or whatever happened, you can click here and join as a business. But if you're logged into your personal account and you just want to convert into a business account, you can just click here on convert now. I'm not going to click because we're already a business account. So, but for all of you guys, you can just convert now here. Perfect. So after you have your simple business account, you're going to want to do a couple of things. And you're probably thinking, even before we go into that, why do I need a business account? Why not just a personal one? Well, you need a business account because without a business account, you are not able to access Pinterest analytics. You cannot do promoted pins. You cannot do viable pins. You basically cannot access a lot of the features that Pinterest could actually be helpful for your business. So the business account is the way to go. So first things first, you already got your business account. And the first thing that I would like for you guys to do Let's go into your settings here we're gonna go and make sure you fill all of this information correctly right so you're gonna want to have an email a contact you're gonna want to fill in your description this is very very important you're gonna have your business name you're gonna have your profile picture which you should have either your logo or something that really represents your brand here is your Pinterest URL as you can see ours is pinterest.com slash and then really work on your description. Really, what is your business about? And Pinterest works like a search engine. So if you can insert some keywords that are pertinent to your business or relative to your business, that would be great. So think of your description, where are you located? And then this is here we come to an important part. They're gonna ask you to put your website. So as you can see right now, blog ads, it says site confirmed. If you do not have your site confirmed here it would say verify your website so you would want to verify your website without a, web, a website being verified you cannot access promoted pins you cannot do a lot of the things that pinterest has for businesses so make sure you verify your website on another video we'll teach you how to use a plugin but for now if you can figure it out yourself make sure you verify your website so you fill in all of your profile go ahead if you want to connect your facebook if you want to connect your twitter but that should be it for your settings so we're going to go back to the profile the next thing you need to do to make the most out of your pinterest account is make sure your website we're going to go into blog ads make sure you have a hover pin button on all of your images so people can pin your content. So as you can see here, if I hover on any of our images on our website here, you'll see the pin it button. So make sure you have that on your website or blog. Perfect. And then we're, got, we're back on Pinterest right now. So something that is amazing for business accounts is that you can access your analytics. So that would be one of the first things that I would actually play with, with analytics on Pinterest. You can see how many people have actually seen your profile, your daily views, your audience. How, what pins are performing better, what pins are not performing. If you don't know what's going on, it's going to be very hard for you to be able to enrich your Pinterest strategy. So now that you have a business account, you can access your analytics. The other thing that you can do with a business account once you're all set up and verified, it's your ads. So Pinterest ads are available for everyone in the US, so make sure you check them out. We have two types, engagement campaigns and traffic campaigns. We will do another YouTube video on the difference on these two, but for now just know that they're there. And then the next thing you need to do or be aware of is that there's different types of pins. As a business account, you are able to have access to rich pins. So make sure to check out um, 
how to do rich pins on your website you can just google basically how to do rich pins and you will find a guide but as you can see like here if you go into our blog ads board this is an article rich pin so it says it's from blog ads it has the title of the article and we really saw a difference as soon as we started doing rich pins so for this you just need to make some tweaks into your website and get approved by Pinterest so make sure you look into that and then another great benefit of having a business account is if you are an online store you can do buyable pins I'm sure you've seen a lot of Pinterest images that have a blue button that says buy so you can just look for those and if you're an online store with either Shopify, Magento, IBM, they're not integrated to all the platforms but you can basically buy stuff directly from Pinterest using Apple Pay so when you see the little blue button on Pinterest then you can see that let me you, they look like this so when you see the little blue button like this one this is how viable pins look so if you have a Shopify store it would be great for you to do that but for that you need a business account so those are basically the things that you can do with a business account and how you can set it up correctly but we'll do a couple more videos so we can teach you exactly how to verify your website how to use promoted pins rich pins and viable pins but for now, thank you so much for being part of this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye.